Hi everybody and Happy New Year! I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and right now I am going to start spinning up this new to me fibre. Just let me get this started. There we go. This is pearl fibre which I got from World of Wool. I have absolutely no idea how this is made, but this is, uh, I've, I've had this for a little while and I thought, you know, I hate the whole new year, new me thing. You know, why wait until the new year to start something new? But I thought I'd do new year, new fiber. I've had this fiber for a while now. And so I just thought this would be a great opportunity to, use it for a video. I have divided up the little sample I've got. I think there's about 25 grams in total. So I'm going to spin up about 12 grams of this uh, to dye it in this video. And I still have a whole load of this fiber that I'm going to dye up in another video and then spin it. So this fiber is really, really soft. It's, it's not slippery. I spun some rose fiber recently, which was so, so slippery and shiny. It was, it's lovely fiber, but just very, it, I found it very difficult to spin. So I'm just gonna separate off a little bit more of this now. And it's, it's very easy to draft and, but it's not, it's not slipping out of my fingers like some of the, some fibers do. It's just so soft. And I'm actually about to place another order with um, World of Wool. And so I think I'm gonna add some of this pearl fiber to my order because it is, oh, it is lovely. I cannot wait to start dyeing this. Here is my little sample of pearl fiber spun together and I'm now going to go wind this off my bobbin and soak it in some soda ash and water while I decide what colors I'm going to dye this. This pearl yarn has been soaking for probably close to a month now and there must have been a tiny bit of dye on my hands when I took it out of the pot so I'm just going to use that. That's made my color decision easy for this one. And just hand paint a little bit of this blue. This is Mermaid's Dream. This is the most beautiful blue. I love it. I think, what should I do? Yeah, I am going to hand paint half of this with this pipette, which uh, I'm starting to think maybe I should have used uh, something else for this, but well, I've started, I will carry on. Now when I uh, made up this dye solution here, I did wear a mask. I've still got my gloves on and I have protected my surface with both cling film and a towel. So, and this, this pipette and everything I'm using is dedicated for dyeing. I don't ever use it for food. There we go, that's looking pretty good. I do apologize for the lighting today. It's quite a dark day and my kitchen light is not great. Normally I would sit down to do this, but I've hurt my back and sitting down at the table actually hurts my back more at the moment, so standing up in the kitchen is my best bet. So I'm just massaging this through, hoping it'll be a fairly even color. Mop up a little bit of that excess. And I've made sure my hands are completely dry and I'm going to go into the dry, the dye powder, Mermaid's Dream. I love this because it breaks in the most beautiful way. So I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit. I'm not great at speckles, as you are, as you well know. And 
I'm going to carefully just turn this side over using my left hand so I don't have to go wash my hands. There we go. Again, trying to be, trying not to go overboard and still got some dye on my fingers so I'm just going to massage it through to the, with, with this side. There we go. I love this blue. It's so beautiful. It's one of my favorites. There we go. I'm happy with this now. So because this is a plant-based fiber, just like when I dye cotton, it needs time instead of heat. So I'm gonna wrap this up to keep it moist, keep it nice and damp. And I'm gonna leave this for a couple of days and then we can wash it out. This pearl yarn has been sitting here for two days. So now it's time to wash it. I'm expecting there to be a lot of color coming out. Yep, because this is a plant-based fiber and the first rinse of a plant-based fiber, it's always, ah, there's so much more dye coming out. But then that always happens. And particularly because this is blues as well. Blues are bleeders and gosh, look at how dark that color is already on the first rinse. This is just cold tap water with a little bit of washing up liquid in. And yeah, there's still more coming out. I don't think it's quite as dark as last time. No, it's not quite as dark. I don't know if, I could, if these fibers will felt in the same way that animal fibers do, but I'm not taking any chances. So that's why I am just, uh, I'm, tr I'm treating this as I would treat non-superwash yarn. Yeah, they're still getting quite dark. Now, the best way I've found to wash plant-based fibers because of that is just to let them soak in water and then change the water every couple of hours or so. And uh, that takes a lot of pressure out of washing because I'm not standing here for hours washing, washing until my hands are raw. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I've got a little pot here and just let this soak. I'm gonna transfer it to a slightly bigger one. That's the bins. And yeah, I'm just gonna let this soak and change the water every couple of hours. And here is the finished pearl yarn. I absolutely love the Mermaid Dream dye that I used for this. And I think this is the side that I did the liquid on and then I speckled on this side, I think. Simply because, if we have a little close up, you can see there are some splotches of yellow and greens sort of on this side. Whereas on this side, it seems to be more a solid color. And there are some little splotches though. So I think that's what it, has happened. It's it's very subtle and th this blue is is beautiful. I love it so much. Um, what do you think of this yarn? Let me know. I'm so happy with how this has turned out. It's a, a nice tonal yarn with um, some splotches of greeny yellows in parts of it. It's been a lot of fun dyeing this brand new to me fiber. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. I have loved playing about with this new to me fiber. It's been so much fun. I've loved experimenting with it and I love this little sample skein that I have now in my collection that I'm going to knit into something. I don't know what yet. I publish a new video every Monday, usually around about 6 p.m. UK time. And I'm hoping to do more of these sorts of videos in the future where I experiment with new to me fibers and yarns. So make sure, you got, make sure you've got your notifications turned on so you don't miss any new videos. Thank you so much for watching.